So we're going to begin our discussion now of the four major macromolecule groups that make up biological compounds. They're going to be nucleic acids, lipids, proteins, and today we're going to talk about carbohydrates. They're all based on carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbohydrates is what we call sugars, but there's various levels of sugars. Uh, it starts off with simple sugars. So those are the little pieces right down here. And the way biology works is that in order to make something big, basically you just take little pieces and put it together. Repeating units, or what we would call polymers. And so simple sugars are going to get put together. If you take two of them and put them together, you get disaccharides. And if you take a lot of these and put them together into really long units, they become polysaccharides. Di means two sugars. Poly means many sugars. So let's start off with simple sugars. The simplest sugar is going to be glucose right here. And you can see that if you took many, many glucose units and put them all together, you'd form a polymer. In this case, we have starch. So let's first of all talk about the simple sugars. There's lots of simple sugars. Uh, I would like you to know three of them. The simple sugar is glucose. Now glucose is known as blood sugar. So let's, uh, let's write that down. That's probably important to know. This is blood sugar. Fructose, you probably know that already. Fructose is fruit sugar, also found in corn, vegetables. And galactose, which you may not have heard of, uh, is one of the milk sugars. They're all six carbon sugars. So let's just take a look here for a second and count the carbons. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and there's six. Uh, if we want to take a look at fructose, you can also see one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, um, I would actually like you to know the uh, formula uh, for glucose. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's go back here again. Uh, and so um, let's erase that there. That's better. Uh, the formula for it, if you put it all together, would be, let's go ahead and write this out here, C and there's uh, six of them, as I said. Hydrogen, there's 12 of them. And oxygen, there's also six. So that would be the formula for it. C6H12O6. And I'd like you to actually know the uh, structural model of it. So gee, I wish I could take this and maybe expand it. Can I do that for you? No, it doesn't look like I can. If you take a moment, though, I would like you to actually draw this down here. Uh, it's probably something you should really know. And you can see it's kind of shaped like a ring. And on all, all the carbons here, there are hydrogens and there are oxygens that come off there. So take a moment and draw that there, and then we'll go around to the next one. Okay, if you go ahead and take two simple sugars and put them together, you get what's called disaccharides. Uh, I would like you to know three of them. And uh, let's see if we can actually raise this up here. One of them is sucrose. And I would like you to know that sucrose is what we call table sugar. Then there's lactose. And lactose, you probably heard of before, that's another type of milk sugar. So you may have heard of people who are lactose intolerant. That means they're not able to digest lactose. And then there's this guy down here, maltose. Maltose is not that common. Uh, we just had Halloween. Uh, so uh, what are they, Whoppers, that candy, is actually made of maltose. Uh, but if you take a look here, let's take a look at sucrose for a moment. So sucrose is a disaccharide. It's two sugars. And in this case, uh, what we have is a glucose, right, put together with a fructose. And that's how we make uh, sucrose. Now, if we go ahead and put a lot of simple sugars together, we get long, long repeating units, hundreds of them put together there, and you form what are called polysaccharides. Um, 
There are three of them, and I would like you to know them. Cellulose. Now, cellulose is the major component of a plant cell wall. So, um, if you've ever watched Survivor Man, for example, uh, he's shown that you can't really make a soup out of grass. Grass is basically cellulose. And the reason why we can't do that is we are lacking the enzyme cellulase, uh, which digests it. Hey, another thing to notice here, by the way, uh, we've seen this suffix quite a bit, haven't we? O-S-E, os, glucose, fructose, sucrose, now cellulose. Os is a good indication that it's probably a sugar. Uh, starch, actually another type of carbohydrate, like in uh, pasta or in uh, potatoes or rice. Uh, starch is a plant energy, a storage produced in leaves. So um, when we do later on a dissection of a leaf and look under a microscope, you'll see starch granules in there. But then the type that's found inside us, the way we store uh, sugar in our bodies, is what's called glycogen. Glycogen is made in the liver, so when we digest food, we eat a meal, uh, we get glucose, it's sent by the blood to the liver, puts it together into a large storage unit, uh, which is called glycogen, and we can then break it down as we need it for energy. So, what are the functions of uh, carbohydrates? Many, many functions, but I think the two major ones are transport and, as I just said, energy. And that concludes my introduction on uh, carbohydrates.